Well, hello and welcome to another episode of The Elegant Life. My name is Erin Kurt and I am a spiritual teacher who assists women in living and manifesting an exquisite life. And one of those components that I'm going to be talking a lot more in the months to come is about high vibe foods. Why are we wanting to eat high vibe foods? Well, I will do a real purposeful video on that coming up shortly. There's some exciting things in store. We're branching out here in the elegant life because one of the aspects of living, enjoying and experiencing uh, an elegant life is one where you feel full of high vitality, one of a high vibration. So what I wanted you to know is that as I elevated spiritually, there came one day where my body just only really wanted plant-based foods. It was like just a split second. And over time, it has just wanted that more and more and more. And it is unbelievable how, as my spirituality continues to elevate on such a grand level, that my body simply wants these high vibe foods. So it is definitely a part that the divine has wanted me to bring forth to the elegant life and share with you. So what I want to do on this video is to give you some real cool tips and tricks that I use to be able to really easily and effortlessly eat high vibe foods. So get ready, jot down some little notes, uh, you're going to want to do these things to make your life a whole lot simpler, more beautiful and elegant, and definitely more high vibe. So what I would say is that there are three ways to make eating high vibe really simple and easy. The first thing that I would say is to come up with about 10 breakfasts, 10 lunches, 10 dinners, that you know you love, that are high vibe, tried, tested, true, simple recipes that you can make, okay? So you have this repertoire, these are yours. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a nice pad of paper, this is one that I have, but it can just be, you know, I stick this, this is a magnetic one, you can get all kinds of really nice ones that you just stick on your fridge and you come up with about five meals that you're going to make that week for dinner. And then, I mean, on here I have like breakfast ideas, lunch ideas, things like that. And the reason you wanna do this is because you don't want to come home from work and think about it. Or at the end of a long day with kids or doing whatever you're doing with your business, you don't wanna to have to think about it. You want it organized. And so you've got your five meals there. You're gonna choose one of them. I usually take, um, here in Dubai, our weekend is Friday, Saturday. So I usually take my Saturday, I do this in the morning, and I go through and I make my five dinner meals and I have any kind of breakfasts that I know my soul really wants and maybe some lunches. And I write them down, I organize them, and on the other side, on another sheet of paper, I write down all the ingredients I'm going to need. So I've got this great shopping list. Then what I do, this is step number two. So what I found was a fantastic online um, grocery shopping delivery store that just delivers all my food to me. And uh, it's so much simpler and time saving. Oftentimes you get things at discount deals because you're not paying for the store to have people, you know, running the store, prepping the shelves, all that kind of stuff. So. I know that I get my organic food at a reduced cost because of it. So check that out. That is definitely my step number two. Tip number three is that as soon as I bring all of my food home, I bring out my big washing bowl, which I'm gonna show you in a second, and I wash my vegetables, my lettuce, everything. I do it immediately, because I don't know about you, but when I'm prepping something after a long day, I don't want to bring out the salad and have to wash the lettuce and spin the lettuce and then cut the lettuce. Like, 
it's not gonna happen. I will probably go without salad that night <laughs> if it's not prepared. And that's, that's just being honest. So what I do is I'm prepared and everything is organized. So I'm gonna insert a little video here that I made because I wanna show you how I do this. I thought it would be interesting to show you what a typical grocery shop looks like. Now, for me, I order almost, almost all of my groceries online just because it's so convenient. So instead of driving around to 20 grocery stores, I get them delivered and how convenient is that? So I've got all kinds of different nuts. I've got hazelnuts, macadamia nuts, cucumbers, and all of my yogurts are the cocoa, coconut yogurt. Like we've got great coconut cream. I'm trying this out. Have anybody tried that? I'm gonna try that. And then I've got lovely asparagus, we've got broccoli, we've got some uh, green onions, some nice parsley, and oh yes, you've got it, a lot of celery. When you get your groceries home, have a big bowl. I don't know if you can see how big this is, but it is large, extra large. I fill it with nice water. I have my fruit and veggie wash that takes off like pesticides, bacteria, all kind of chemicals. It's so, so important to do that kind of stuff. And then I wash all of my salads. I wash all of my celery so, and I put them in bags. It's just the easiest thing in the world to eat a salad, to make my celery juice. There's no excuses because it's not hard. So there's just a little bit of an image. Everything's soaking. And voila, there they are, all clean, ready to go. Okay, so as I showed you, I put, for example, my celery that I do for my celery juice every morning with a bit of paper towel. That's a little trick that I use. I put a little bit of paper towel that soaks up that extra moisture that, that comes in, in bags with vegetables. Even if I'm, for example, washing broccoli and I put it in a, a glass closed container, I will put some paper towel in there. I do this with my lettuce, so I put my lettuce in bags and I put some paper towel in there. It's all spun, it's all cleaned, all my vegetables are ready. I don't chop them because that takes the vitamins out of it. You, you want to prepare them, but not to the extent of chopping them all because that oxidation happens and starts taking the vitamins out of them, okay? So I really wanna make that point. Um, and so after you've got all this, your fridge is just, everything's ready. When I want my celery, I don't have to wash it. When I want my lettuce to make a salad, I just pull out my bag of freshly cleaned lettuce and parsley and green onions, whatever it is, and just do it, okay? So that is my big, big tip. So let's review the top three tips for eating a healthy high vibe way. Number one, have your repertoire of meals that are tried, tested, true, and high vibe. Then make a list, okay? Step number two, do either your grocery shop or your online shop right away after making your menu list. And number three, as soon as you get these groceries home, bring out that big bowl and wash and prep and package your vegetables, your fruits, things like this, so that it is so easy to grab and eat a really healthy, high vibe way. These are just my little routine, and I always say the elegant life one of the things that makes it so beautiful is the ease and flow of it. And make it enjoyable, you know, put some nice music on while you make your menu list. You will feel completely different that week. It'll be a pure, pure joy and pleasure. So on that note, make it an elegant week. Go ahead and do this maybe today or plan for it on the weekend. And we'll see you next week.